آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ Also, a very surprising thing that happened last week is that now my draft opinion for, for the ITRA, I recommend the rejection, of course, but not on the freedom of speech grounds, but on the fact that I don't think that internet service providers have any particular obligation to, to uphold, to, to deem what is a copyright infringement and what is not. It's bad for business. The evaluation of the e-commerce directive from the European Commission shows this also. Everyone dislikes the current copyright regime, including the enforcement, except the rights holders. It says that, literally. So there's, I mean, the rights holders lobby group is very alone in liking the current enforcement scheme. Um, but then there was this sudden amendment proposal, for my opinion, which said that, well, actually, um, we need to quote these statistics that our opinion already says are unreliable, from 2009, because I, they, they pulled the statistics from a report in 2009 about uh, how counterfeiting is destroying the planet. And actually the parliament said in 2010 that data about this matter cannot be relied upon because it's inconsistent and incoherent. So they're undermining the previous position of the European parliament by saying that the parliament in 2010 was wrong in its evaluation of the then existing corpus on counterfeiting. And the other amendment that was posted says that our opinion should be taken into account by the International Trades Committee, which I would consider is completely obvious, because actually my committee, the Industry Committee, is very important and should be taken into account automatically. We should not have to ask for this. So I'm kind of, one of the things that really surprised me is the willingness of my colleagues, for lack of better words, not to respect their work. If I was going to argue for ACTA, I would try to do so in a way that I could actually maintain my self-respect afterwards, in a bit. <laughs>